Hey everybody, it's Troy. In a recent project, I went from having a picture-in-picture -picture video like this to a picture-in-picture -picture video a little bit better. Let me show you how I do it. I would go to my favorites. If you haven't done it already, I highly recommend adding a favorite, uh, going to the annotations, going to the shapes, going to bold, and then simply hitting the star on uh, the big bold circle there. It'll show up in the favorites, and then you can drag it onto your canvas, which, whoops, I don't want it there. I want it over here because it's here that I want to place it. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to put it roughly in the center of my face. If I can't get it there, I can use my arrow keys to get it close. The other thing I can do is I can hold down to the command or the windows key. Uh, whoops, hold on. Let's do command windows and shift. And that allows us to scale it proportionally. So I got myself covered up there. That's great. I'm going to drag it across the duration of my camera clip and I'll put it on top of it. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to then copy and paste it. Now in this second one, I'm going to go to the properties over here. I'm going to bring down the opacity of it and I'm going to bring the thickness of the border up just a little bit. And finally, in uh, if it's in the visual effects, I happen to have favorited it, so it's also available to me as a favorite, which is uh, I'm gonna put drop shadow on the one that I just did. Uh, so I've got uh, this, I've got my camera video. I need to apply a track mat to this one, or a media mat, which I'll also grab from my favorites. This also is in the visual effects, but I don't like going into all my tools over here, so I just favorite everything. Anyways, drag that down, um, put that onto here. So drag that onto there. Oops, hold on a second. Let's see what I did. Oh, I put the media mat on there. That, I don't need that. There we go. Off that goes. Okay. So media mat goes on the first circle. And then on the second one, uh, I don't have to really do anything. Uh, and I'm pretty much done. Last thing I usually do with those three is I simply select them, Command G or Windows G, and uh, group them together. And uh, now I've got. Uh, the, an object here which I can put into whatever corner position that I need to put also from here if I need to because sometimes this happens um, you can rotate it 180 degrees uh, and sometimes you might actually need to put it over here uh, because then it can focus on where the action is the idea is we want the eyes uh, guy going towards where the action is anyways that's it thanks for watching appreciate it